Hey there, NE10 fans. Welcome back to NE10 Update. Here from NE10 headquarters in Mansfield, Massachusetts, I am Steve Lewis. Championship season has started while basketball and hockey enter the final month of the regular season. Our first NE10 Winter Championships will be awarded this coming weekend as our swim teams travel to Worcester and the campus of WPI. Bentley was picked to repeat as league champs on the men's side as they earned six of seven first place votes with 36 points in the NE10 coaches poll to edge Southern Connecticut, which had 31 points. On the women's side, Assumption was also picked to repeat as NE10 champions. The Greyhounds claimed six first place votes and 48 points, while the Falcons of Bentley had 43 points and the final two first place votes. Action gets underway Thursday evening and a champion will be crowned Sunday night. Fans can watch all the action on NE10Now.tv. The Bentley men's team dropped a pair of nail-biting contests this week to Lemoyne and Adelphi, the two top teams in the Southwest Division, by a combined five points. The Falcons are now tied for second place in the Northeast Division, a game back of leader Stonehill. St. Anselm picked up ground on Bentley in the division with a 2-0 week, scoring 90-plus points and back-to-back -back wins over St. Rose and Southern Connecticut. The Hawks are tied with the Falcons for second place in the Northeast. Bentley has a chance to bounce back in a big way tonight, though, as it travels to play first place Stonehill at 7.30 and looks to complete the season sweep of the Skyhawks. On Saturday, Lemoyne hosts New Haven at 3 o'clock on Ted Grant Court as the Dolphins still hold a three-game lead in the Southwest. Also, St. Anselm hosts Stonehill at 3.30 in a pivotal game with Northeast Division title implications. After losing two straight in the middle of January, the Adelphi women have responded with four straight victories, the latest a 15-point win over Bentley on Saturday, who was in first place of the Northeast Division at the time. The Panthers moved up to number 10 in the WBCA poll on Tuesday and boast a 20-2 overall record. Tonight, Adelphi travels to play AIC with a big game looming next Tuesday at Lemoyne up in Syracuse. Stonehill and Bentley, tied for second place in the Northeast Division, play tonight in Easton in a crucial matchup at 5.30. On Saturday, St. Anselm, the first place team in the Northeast, hosts Stonehill at 1.30. Lemoyne hosts New Haven at 1 o'clock in an NE10 semifinal rematch from a year ago, while Southern New Hampshire welcomes Assumption at 1.30 in a battle for playoff position in the Northeast. There was some big movement in the NE10 ice hockey standings over the past week as Assumption moved into the top spot in the standings after sweeping post. The Greyhounds own a 10-game unbeaten streak overall and hold a one-point lead over St. Michael's despite playing one less game. The Purple Knights swept third place St. Anselm with a pair of four, five to four victories, while Southern New Hampshire moved one point ahead of Franklin Pierce for the final playoff spot with a two and one week. The Penmen host St. Michael's for two games this weekend while Assumption looks to stay in first when it hosts St. Anselm on Saturday. On the track this past weekend, a number of NE10 athletes put up impressive performances at the New England Championships. Assumption freshman Anthony Spignes won the 200 meter title in 21.59 seconds, while teammate Kevin Hack and Southern Connecticut's Nigel Green earned runner-up finishes in the high jump and 400 meters, respectively. Deja Middlebrooks won the triple jump on the women's side while Paula Brenna took home second in the high jump. Ashley Corcoran, meanwhile, placed fourth in the 3,000 meters and was the only D2 runner to finish in the top 20. Thank you all for tuning in to this edition of NE10 Update. Enjoy the action, and we'll see you next week.